and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to welcome you all to the sixth International Procurement and Supply Chain Conference 2021, presented by Blue Ocean Conferences. This is the biggest gathering I've seen since uh, the beginning of the pandemic. I congratulate you on the selection of the theme of this conference. One world, one supply chain, evolution of connected global supply chain community. As I said, it goes very well with the, also the theme of uh, the expo. We ask ourselves a question, are sustainability and logistics the two sides of the same coin? What are the current and future trends in sustainable transportation and smart logistics? Please give a very warm welcome to our final keynote speaker for the day, Mr. John Harris, the from International Education Strategy and Business Development Lead at CILT. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so much for the privilege of being able to talk to you uh, this afternoon. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum and apologies that Keith Newton, who was the original speaker, um, isn't actually with us. Unfortunately, at the last minute, he wasn't able uh, to fly over to the UAE, but he's our International Secretary General and he does send um, his best wishes to you all here. As I've been introduced, I look after education, skills, we've heard an awful lot about that over the course of today. And what we're passionate about at CILT is making sure that the solutions are kind of oven ready for business and that they're actually providing the opportunities that you really need for your workforces. So what I'm going to do in the next 10 minutes is tell you about a few things here. I'm going to introduce a little bit about the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport, so if you hear me say CILT, you'll know what that means. And then I'm going to just talk about this sustainability issue, this dichotomy. And the global supply chain, as we've already heard, is really under strain, facing many, many challenges, many new developments and many new opportunities. We've heard a lot about that on the conference already. But I'd like to talk to you about some of the new impacts on the supply chain and some of the work that CILT has been doing so that we can respond together as a logistics family. So this is the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport. We are a membership body where people can actually progress to become chartered members and beyond. And we are growing across the world. We operate in over 40 countries where we have a branch um, that provides services, membership, events, etc. And we have one here in CILT UAE. Uh, the latest was launched in Rwanda la just last week. And we have expanding markets in the Middle East and MENA region, particularly in Saudi Arabia, Oman, Bahrain, and in Egypt. So let's turn on a little bit about me. So I've been working for them twice, actually, once looking after their policy side and now the education lead. And I've been doing that role for about nearly 10 years. Uh, my background in urban transportation and sustainability. And I'm really, really passionate about seeing young people grow and develop to their full potential. I think that's something we can all agree on here today. So let's demonstrate the areas of change that we've seen. The old order is gone and the new order is here. Understanding risk and resilience um, is now really where we have to focus on stability. We've heard about product, but I would challenge that as well as product, we've really got to think about resilient people. People are more fragile. They're an integral part of the planning, the decision making, the ideas, the creativity. And losing your people or losing the ideas is perhaps one of the biggest risks that we face at the moment. So resilience planning, whether it's retaining your people, retaining your services, retaining your customers, or retaining your products and equipment, is a golden theme that will affect us all as a family. Here's just some of the challenges around the new solutions that we actually need. And you can see those here from ourselves. It kind of brings together a lot of the, the points and issues that have already been raised today. 
Now, in CILT, we've led two campaigns globally across those 40, 50 countries across the world. And what we wanted to do was, number one, help people understand the impact of COVID in their culture and in their country, and then move positively towards sustainability in the supply chain. So in March this year, we ran our sustainability campaign, which was a series of international best practice webinars. They're all available for you to view, completely free of charge, at our website. And we then started, more recently, a theme on digitalization. We've got many articles, webinars, and discussions on the website on both these critical subjects in the supply chain and have featured speakers from across the world. Now, the important thing is digital and sustainability go in hand. One feeds the other in a continuous improvement cycle. But we mustn't lose sight of the end customer, and we mustn't lose sight of the social need and equality and inclusion in doing that. My opinion, it's only my opinion, but I'm going to be controversial. It's vital that the technical agenda doesn't necessarily lead or dominate the solution. It's vital we have the end customer and the end social or environmental impact at the end of what we're trying to do. Digital, for me, is a set of really cool tools that meet economic, social, or environmental outcomes, and that's the order that it should be dealt in. Let's just um, freeze for a moment on the topic of sustainability. We in CILT have positioned this key issue. We have looked carefully at the sustainable development goals from the United Nations. We've looked at the relationship between that and the logistics index for many countries. And we've been trying at a policy level to equip our CILT branches around the world to have that policy voice. COP26 in, in the UK has been a major focus, and this year on the run-up, uh, CILT members in the UK have put together their corporate response on, for example, decarbonisation of rail and other strategic matters. So as we learn, we practice, and as we practice, we share our experience, and as we share that experience, it enriches and we learn together. Our Women in Logistics and Transport group has also prioritised this with the launch of their own leadership programmes and also their leadership in sustainability and green technology. So if you're interested in that, come and find us on the stand at Coffee Break. The challenge on the environment and global warming is one that should challenge every professional in, the world, in, in this room. There's a chain reaction here that our own decisions, the way we procure, the way that we supply, the way we think, actually leads either to a plus or a minus carbon impact. And it's critical that procurement decisions right through to operational delivery take account of this. We've just launched our second campaign on digitalization, as I said, and there are many new technologies that can be used in the supply chain. How to use them effectively and how to use them at the right time is really the key question we should be asking ourselves. As we seek to learn about new technology, remember the vitality and the importance of the end customer. This brings me to the final thinking, and we're going to pick up on this after our coffee break with the next panel. Skills and learning and the proper development of professionals is absolutely vital. We can only help our people work for us effectively if we're giving the right help at the right time in the right shape. Our people are our true strength in the logistics and supply chain, and we will all rely on new skills being learnt and learnt quickly enough for us to be able to fulfil our customers' expectations. As you see on this very simple diagram, but this kind of T-shaped person, okay? Um, I'm not doing exercises, but the T-shaped person is absolutely critical. And as CILT, we want people to have breadth in management, leadership, soft skills, problem solving, and strategic thinking, but also have the depth, whether it's in inventory or other aspects of the supply chain. This depth and breadth shaping of the professional is something we have to relearn and we're going to have to relearn very, very fast. My final point on this is that mentoring and supporting people in their workplace, in their own way of learning, is absolutely critical. And we know that this varies by culture and nationality. 
So finally, our world is changing and we in CILT will have to change with it, preparing ourselves for tomorrow and equipping our members to be informed. As we help create new sustainable futures, we need to equip our people to help them to learn from each other. This needs to happen more rapidly, it needs to happen more dynamically, and it needs to happen more creatively. So please come with us on that journey. Thank you so much. Absolutely wonderful keynote speech, John. Thank you so much. If I could please ask James Matthew, Managing Partner from UHY James, and Mirza Tahir, Senior Manager, Marketing from Blue Ocean Academy, to give a little token of appreciation to John there. Thank you so much. Thank you.